What's going on, hitters? Um, my helmet just finally came in from Cry Precision themselves. It took approximately four weeks. I know people were like, oh my God, it's going to take like three months. No, it took me four weeks, man, to get it. And uh, I'm pretty stoked. I already took it out the box. Saved some time from you guys watching me uh, cut this box open. So without further ado, this is the Cry Airframe ATX. That's the uh, stands for the basically the law enforcement version of the helmet. All it is is level 3A rated. So let's talk about this helmet. It's light. I like it. I like the color. I thought I wouldn't, you know, dig the color, this Ranger Green, but dude, it's nice, man. I was I was going to hit it with another coat of Ranger Green, but I'm, I think I'm going to leave it. But I'll tell you what I am painting that is uh, going to be Ranger Green is the, the black rails. I'm going to be painting these babies Ranger Green because I don't like this at all. I'm also going to be replacing... It comes with the black retention, bungee retention for the for your nods. I'm going to replace them with, you guessed it, Ranger Green. I'm also um, going to be replacing a lot of things on this helmet. That's why I called it Project Frankenstein. Because a lot of people complained about the pads that it came with and the harness that the Cry Airframe came, comes with. They're not satisfied with that. You know, honestly, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm not going to be biased either. I, I'm not satisfied with it. I put them on. I was like, what the hell? I paid $900 for this helmet and they gave me these crappy pads and this poopy freaking uh, harness. But you know what? That is being resolved also. I purchase, bam, Team Wendy's Epic Air Pads. These babies, this marriage this marriage right here is, is meant to be, man. Guys, I know guys that, that, that put the uh, Epic Air inside their cry helmet. And they freaking loved it. And I I, I know it's going to be nice too. So, uh, And the other thing about the harness, right? Boom. I got the cam fit from Team Wendy also. That's going to be replacing the harness here. Because people were complaining like with this harness on, when they throw on their nods, the helmet tends to tilt forward. And it doesn't offer that support that is needed. So... I know people can get the freaking uh, counterweight, but even with that, this helps secure it even further. And I have this on my other helmet and I love it. So I'm gonna be putting this on this cry airframe. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cutting because I'm not gonna make a long drawn out video of me piecing this helmet uh, together piece by piece. I'm gonna cut it, uh, show you what I've done and uh, the end product of it, all right? So you guys stay tuned. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna be hitting it with Rustoleum Ranger Green. Let it dry a little bit. Some more. You don't wanna spray it too close. Because it's going to start to bleed. So you want it about, like, I would say a foot away from it. Nice. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to do the other one. All right. So you guys stay tuned. Well, there it is. I sprayed both of them. Um, going to let them dry. Then I'm going to, now I'm going to be working on other pieces of the helmet. So uh, just wanted to show you guys how it looks so far. I used I used a uh, ultra flat color, so it's not going to be shiny, which of course who the hell wants it shiny, right? Um, so stay tuned, dudes. So the next thing I'm going to be doing to this helmet is removing the harness and replacing it with the can fit from Team Wendy, right? And uh, I'm also going to be putting on the skeleton shroud from Opscore. So that's the next thing I'm going to be the next step I'm going to be doing to this helmet. So stay tuned while I put this together and I'll show you guys the uh, the final uh, work after it's done. All right, hitters. So I I took out the harness. I put the uh, Team Wendy cam fit in. Dude, it's, it's nice. I like it. The pain in the ass thing that took me like literally 30 minutes to install the rails is because of this Princeton Tech uh, accessory that I'm going to attach a light to. It's just for some reason, it says it's supposed to fit the airframe, but dude, to get that screw in, 
Dude, it literally took me um, about 20 or 30 minutes. But I got it done. Uh, not a problem now. I run my Peltor's wires underneath. I think it looks more clean than having it on the outside. So that's why I, I also already put that in. Next step is uh, I'm going to install the uh, air f the Epic Air Pads and, and hook up at the Peltor. So this is almost done. I'll let you see. I'll let you guys see the uh, final masterpiece after I finish. All right, stay tuned. All right, what's going on, hitters? So from the last cutscene that I did, um, I installed the Obscore skeleton shroud right the velcros that you know they're the velcros that you guys always see with the cries i like them i mean why change them right why change the wheel it is made for this airframe I'm, I'm gonna go with it right um so inside here it is done boom installed the cam fit i tried it on freaking amazing and inside is the epic air from team wendy with uh, it comes with either either you can use either the thin pads or the thick pads. I went with the thin pads, and it formed to my head uh, better. I like how they separated the pads so that the airflow of the helmet can still happen, you know, and it doesn't. It's not compromised. So here, here I put on my Peltors too, Contact threes, the 2016 versions, dual comms. They're on. Now the next step. It's uh, basically the final step. I mean, the rest is just accessories, you know. The I got the Mohawk camera, I, which I'm going to be doing a review about. Don't worry. Uh, I, it's taken a long time. Is because I want it. I want to uh, really, really use this. Really, really evaluate it. And they just and their app just came out. So give me a little bit. I will put a review on what I think about the Mohawk camera. Of course, you know, Sans Precision freaking um, Manta strobe and the, the V lights. So the next step I'm gonna put in put on is the Princeton Tech uh, Charge Pro helmet light. Right, this is how it looks like. This is it right here. Got it in Ranger Green too, of course. Now this hooks onto the rail, obviously, but you know with the with my uh, headset already on there, uh, the real estate is pretty much gone because uh, uh, even though this is this is run by C123 battery, it's still pretty long. So I bought an, an accessory that hooks up to the uh, top of the helmet right there, which remember I was talking about how it was a pain in the ass for me to install it? Well, I got it to fit. Now I'm gonna put the Princeton light, Princeton Tech light right there. So that's how it's gonna look. Uh, next video, be uh, next cutscene will be the final cutscene where everything will be on the helmet. So uh, just hang on tight, all right? I'm almost done. Thanks. All right, hitters, here it is. The finished product with everything installed into, on the helmet. I'm running the uh, Princeton Tech Pro light, 50 lumens. I got the Mohawk uh, camera on top. The freaking... Uh, God damn it. All right, hitters, here's the finished product. I put everything together. It took me longer than I wanted it to. But I uh, had a little hiccups, but... Nothing, nothing, nothing I couldn't overcome. Got the Princeton light, the tech light sitting on top, so it basically frees up the real estate in the bottom. Running the Mohawk on top. Got the skeleton shroud from Ops Core. Got the first peer, uh, spear, don't tread on me flag. Running dual comms, Peltors, 2016 version. Manta strobe, V lights, mini IR underneath, you guys already know. The cam fit from Team Wendy and the Epic Air. Overall, the helmet's extremely light. Even with all this shit on there, dude, it's actually pretty damn light. It fits well to my head. I got the, a size medium. Um, it's nice, man. I mean, I like I like the design of the cry helmets. You know, extra AC, extra air uh, airflow in the helmet. I mean, it's good to go. I'm gonna be testing it out, wearing it, and doing more videos of it. So, here you go. Here you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoy my video. Subscribe, like. Um, by the uh, end of June, maybe even sooner, I'm going to have a dedicated camera. So right as soon as I get that, I'm going to be doing some, like I said, workout videos for you guys and more reviews. And it's going to be more professional looking. So hang in tight and I appreciate you guys following me. And until next time, peace.